First card we have is the Five of Pentacles reversed. Then we have the Moon. And then we have the Two of Wands, Leo. So, Leo, you guys are getting ready to come out of a crazy situation. Some of you guys, it could be a loss that you may have been experiencing in regards of your security, your stability. Some of you guys may be getting over a, um, a person that may have left you, Leo. And maybe you felt very alone and abandoned dealing with this individual. But I am getting this energy where you are overcoming anything that was a loss to you, Leo. Like I said, whether you felt like you took an L by losing somebody or whether you feel like you took an L by losing some money or whatever type of L that you felt like you took, this is something that is getting ready to be overcome. Overcame, I mean. And um, I'm just getting this energy where you guys could be moving in silence. Some of you guys could be secretly moving in silence leo in regards of something some of y'all has to do with a partnership maybe it could be a new job maybe it could be a business or maybe you could be looking into going to school i'm getting like some of you guys it could be in the form of money business partnership whatever the case may be but i am getting this energy of whatever it is that you are getting ready to get out of that was a struggle to you you guys are you know, basically using your intuition and moving in silence, Leo, because I am getting that energy where that could be something that there could be something that you could be playing behind the scenes, basically. So let's dive deeper in this situation. Yep, we got the Empress. So there is something a very abundant that is getting ready to ha happen for you. Some of you guys, this is something that you have already started to take care of in, behind the scenes. Maybe you have already been nurturing this situation behind the scenes, Leo. But I'm seeing that situation that you have been taking care of is getting ready to prosper. So let's keep it moving. What else do we have for my Leo Collective Spirit? What else do we have for my Leo Collective? These cards is done, done. <laughs> These cards is done, done. Like, for real. I need some new cards. But we got the Six of Cups reversed. So, like I said, you guys are not only overcoming a loss that you have took, but some of y'all are letting go of a past situation. Some of y'all are letting go of any triggers, any trauma, Anything that may have kept you small, Leo, that you felt like you lost out on. I'm seeing something in the form of like, like an overcome in certain, certain things. Like I said, it could be anything, mental, emotional, getting over somebody, emotionally getting over somebody, or it can just be overcoming financial difficulties. Um, I, I'm just getting the past stays in the past. You know, whatever was didn't work out with you in the past, it stays in the past and it's, it's just gone because we got the star card. So a lot of you guys been definitely secretly praying a lot because we got the moon and then up under that we got the star. Some of you guys could have water in Aquarius in your chart or water or Aquarius in your chart. Don't have to be. But I am getting this energy where your intuition is on point, Leo, about something that's getting ready to come into favor for you, Leo. Like I said, y'all are moving in silence. It's like whatever L's that you were taking, you getting up out of that funk. Like literally, you are definitely moving in silence. You know, like I said, walking away from anything that kept you small or maybe that have triggered you in a way or whatever it is that, you know, you felt like you lost. You still kept that hope and that faith that everything is going to be okay, Leo. You know, I just felt like your faith and spirit is a lot more stronger than anything, no matter the obstacles, no matter the challenges, no matter the difficulties that you have went through. I feel like your faith is a lot more stronger, Leo. But we got the high priestess. And I'm hearing that you about to find out. Like, whatever you have prayed for is coming into fruition. Like, literally, Leo. Something is getting ready to be exposed in regards of... I feel like your wishes, you getting it, it is what you want, Leo. But um, 
I'm just getting this energy where you could be set in like, I don't know, some of y'all are manifesting. Like, you could be set in positive, like, I'm hearing affirmations. That's what I heard. Some of you guys could be using, like, affirmations. You could be chanting and I already said praying, you know, for something to come to the light or for something to come into fruition for you. That's for some of you guys. I feel like this is something on a personal level that you could be, you know, whipping it up in secret. Like, no, don't nobody know that you are, you know, doing this. You know, you could be keeping it to yourself. But there is some type of prayer that is going to be answered, Leo, with the star card. And then we have the high priestess. Something is going to be answered for you. Okay, what else? What else do we have, Spirit, for my Leos? What else we have for my Leos? Okay. We got love affair. Dirty little secrets. Sex fix. Low down. So it's like... Some of y'all may have walked away from somebody... Like I said, the past stays in the past. But y'all may have walked away from somebody that may have kept you a secret or they had other secrets. Maybe they had like... A, they had a love affair on you, Leo. Some of you guys maybe even was married to this person, or maybe you found out the person you were dealing with was married to another person. Cool. But um, I'm just getting this energy where you could be keeping your love life to yourself if you are talking to somebody new. So some of you guys, you could be talking to somebody new. Or maybe you just, maybe if you are manifesting somebody new, you could be keeping this love to yourself. I don't know. I'm getting that for somebody. Some of y'all are letting go of a past like trauma bond or a past trigger that you may have had in the past. And it's like you could be like open to new love, but you could be keeping that to yourself. We got family, which is blood ties, inner circle, and then we have antisocial. I'm just getting some type of energy shift with y'all. I'm not seeing it, but I feel it. And the way these cards is, I just felt like, wow. You know what it's telling me, Leo? There is a past situation that you have let go of, right? I don't know why I keep bringing it up, but I just felt like somebody had a love affair with somebody in your family. And you cut them off. Maybe it can be like a sister. Some of y'all, this also can mean siblings. So reverse is saying that you have walked away from one of your siblings. Maybe you cut off some of your family members because of, of what it is that you have found out, Leo. Maybe you were looking for answers. But I'm just getting this energy. Whatever it is that you have um, walked away from, I, I strongly feel like it was a not only a person you were dealing with romantically, but some of y'all also walked away from a sibling that probably was having a love affair with somebody you have kids with. I feel like this is just a, a random message for somebody. Some of y'all found out somebody that was very close to you. It don't even have to be a sibling. It could be a close cousin or a friend of yours that you consider as family that was having a love affair with your child, child um, yeah, with your children children's father or children's mother if you have kids with this person and you cut them off some of y'all haven't spoke to this person ever since then now i'm also getting this energy where i'm seeing y'all take y'all bear with me but i'm seeing so many different energies so y'all just take which one is that may resonate with you but um i'm not sure if i said this or not but somebody may have had a secret love and you have already created a family with this person. Maybe you found out the person that you have kids with had got engaged or married to another individual outside of y'all connection, Leo. And some of y'all, it was somebody in your family. This is like some hillbilly stuff. <laughs> like when I see the woods with the um kids and the family, I don't know. But this is like some hillbilly sick stuff that I'm seeing right here. But I'm just getting this energy where you had to cut off somebody. Some of y'all... Family, you had to leave them out. I don't know. That's just a random spread for somebody up yeah? because you had to set some strong boundaries. You have, they have definitely crossed the line. Definitely crossed the line, Leo. Whether you felt like you was being very disrespected. I don't know. I just feel like that's a random message for somebody where somebody's family member ha may have slept with somebody's like 
child's mother or child's father. And it's like you had to cut the person off, both people off. That's for somebody, but I feel like this is just a personal spread at the top, and then this could be something that happened to you when in regards of love. But like I said, y'all just take what resonates, Leo. Wow. And whatever it is that was kept from you, it made you feel very ill, Leo. Like some of y'all, it got to the point where some of y'all couldn't even get out of bed because of what it is that you have found out. I'm getting that energy. Somebody could be secretly ended up in the hospital because they may be sick. Maybe, um... I don't know if this is you, Leo, on a personal level where you may be ending up in the hospital because you may fall sick. You know, maybe something happened to you or something is something in regards of your health. Now, if not, like I said, the person that you made that had a love affair on you, Leo, may be in the hospital. That's crazy. I don't know why, but I'm getting secret family, secret affairs. Like, somebody could be low-key. Somebody could have... Somebody may have been living a double life for somebody, but this tape will resonate because this energy all over the dang on place. It's all over the place, child. Wow. Somebody may end up in a hospital or end up sick because of another woman. It could just be your energy. Like I said, some of you guys, this situation probably have devastated you so bad from the past to the point you could be like falling back. When it comes to dating or just falling back or you could just be feeling sick and not being able to get out of the bed due to your ex having an affair on you and having a family, creating another family on you. And ever since then, you have not been able to speak to this person. I don't know why, but I feel like some of y'all are somebody close to you that may have slept with your, your lover. This is crazy. Just had to get messy, huh? Yeah, and you could be the older sister or the, the older one out of the situation. Oh, somebody may end up poisoning somebody. I don't know why I'm picking up. Or somebody end up having food poisoning. Whether this happened to your lover that left you. I don't know why I'm hearing that song, Mary J. Blige. I just keep, I always hear that song. I'm not going to cry. But somebody was somebody's lover and a secretary. I don't know. But maybe it could be somebody they work with. But I'm just getting this energy where, because somebody is working for them or working with them. I don't know. Or taking care of. Somebody in the background taking care of another woman. So, Leo, your person may have had an affair on you and created a whole other family behind your back and left you. Or you maybe you felt like you had to leave them because of what it is that has been exposed. But I'm just getting this energy where somebody may be feeling like very devastated and very sick about the situation because it could be somebody very close to you in your family. There's a family member that could have like could be in a relationship with somebody that you used to be in love with. I don't know why, but it could be like your uh, older sister, I mean, a younger sister or a younger um, brother or it could be. Your own daughter. This is sick. I don't even want to get into this. This is crazy. Some of y'all, it's somebody real close to you that may have slept with somebody that you really was in love with at one point in time in your life. But you know what, Leo? I strongly feel like this is like old, old energy. I don't feel like this is... It could be happening now, you know, but it's just telling me a lot of y'all, y'all main focus is just on your family, yourself. You're not talking to nobody right now because it's like you have outgrown the old Leo. This energy is so all over the place. But just, like I said, bear with me and just take what resonates. But I strongly feel like a lot of y'all have outgrown the old, like the old patterns that, that used to trigger you. Things that used to trigger you, you know, you don't trigger you no more. People that you used to deal with, you don't deal with them anymore. You see what I'm saying? But I feel like love could be the last thing on your list right now. Your focus is more of, like I said, 
generational wealth or just your family in general is your main focus, especially if you have kids, whether they're grown or whether they're, they're small. But I feel like at this point, a lot of y'all are not talking to nobody because it's like you too busy, you know, outgrowing the old you and the old lifestyle that you used to live. I feel like that's what was happening with a lot of my Leos where you could be alone and not talking to nobody. Because like I said, y'all are moving in silence. Y'all have definitely took some L's in the past or recently, but you have overcame that or you are overcoming that. Yeah, I'm not, I feel like the Leos I'm talking about are the single Leos that are much more focused on their selves and their health their children and their well-being as a person. It's like you have changed, Leo. A lot of y'all have definitely outgrew, outgrew the old you. But let's change this energy up with some more because I strongly feel like this energy has already passed far as somebody sleeping with someone that was close to you in your family. But I don't know why spirit bringing it up. It's something may, may be going on still. That could be the reason why. Maybe somebody that you like you have kids with could still be sleeping with somebody in your family and that could be the reason why spirit has brought it up again that's crazy that's sick somebody doing that somebody in your family is sleeping with somebody else that you have dealt with before leo and that could be the reason why that energy popped up because i just feel like this energy has already happened like a while ago Years ago, I'm hearing some of y'all. This energy has happened years ago. The rest of y'all could have just been recently because everybody's timeline is different. Yep, you just all you want is peace. Like, it's like the more you fall back from somebody that you know made you feel some type of way in the past, I just felt like the more peace that you, you know, you have in your life, the more you fall back from that. It's like the more you don't think about it, the more you don't stress about anything, the more things start to like come into balance in your life. Look, and things start to unfold. I knew it. I knew it. So it's like you, whatever L's you took in the past, Leo, or recently, you are overcoming those L's. Things that used to trigger you and bother you, overcame it, aced it. Like, you're not bothered by it. So even if somebody is dealing with somebody that is your ex, you know, that you left behind, you don't care. A lot of y'all got to the point where you just don't care because you, as long as you have a peace of mind and you got your yourself back the way that you felt like you needed to be in a certain spot in your area, like maybe you felt like you lost your mind at one point in time. Maybe you felt like you were emotionally all over the place. Maybe you felt like your energy was off, you know? I'm just getting that energy of balance with you, Leo. And it's like the more grounded you become and not give a F about it anymore, the more things start to slowly unfold for you. So I like this energy. I'm just getting this energy of somebody who's at peace with themselves, Leo. I'm not getting no chaotic energy. I'm not getting you, you, you may not even be talking to nobody right now, probably, but your family. And if you are talking to somebody in your family, it could just be your kids or it could be like one sibling of yours. You know what I'm saying? It could be something like that. But most of you guys, it's just get this, I'm just getting this period of isolation with you guys. In the, in regards of the moves that you are making for your, you know, for your life and just, just getting away from all the, the things that you have outgrown, Leo. We got track. So it's telling me that, yes, things are a lot more peaceful, right? Or getting to be a lot more peaceful and things are slowly unfolding. But there is something that could be trying to stop you, Leo. It says you feel stuck in your current situation, but you do have options. Look for another job while keeping the one you have for now. So some of you guys, things are opening up as long as you like make a move. Because some of y'all do need to explore your options. Some of y'all do feel stuck. Some of y'all do feel like things could be a little bit slow. You know, it, but like I said, your peace ain't taken from you. So that's a good thing. You are somebody that's at peace. Things are slow. But some of you guys could be looking forward to move house or move a job. Maybe you want to to start a new job or maybe you could be looking to start expand a business or start a new business but some of y'all feel stuck in something but we're going to dive deeper and see exactly what that is it's calling a blockage leo i wouldn't say a blockage i feel like a thing's still happening things still moving but it's just slow maybe because we in tourist season i don't know but 
I'm just getting this energy of like something could be like you feel stuck at something. What is it? What is it, Spirit? What's Holy um Leo back? Even even though you at peace, Leo. Even though you are outgrowing the old you, right? Keep that in mind. It's like something is keeping you stuck, and I don't feel like I should be pulling these cards with that. With me trying to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I should be pulling those cards at all. Me trying to answer that question. What is keeping my Leos like feeling stuck or trapped or something? Because maybe you feel like some of y'all feel like the money could be slow where you at. If you like in a current position at work, maybe you feel like you're not making enough money or you maybe you feel like it's just very slow. Maybe you could be bored where you at. I don't know. Some of y'all feel stuck. We got the Ace of Swords reverse. We got the King of Wands reverse. Some of y'all need to pull your energy back. It's like you need to stop talking to somebody. Some of y'all literally need to like hold back some form of communication from somebody at your job. Or it could just be saying that without saying anything, just leave. Some of y'all could just be needing to just leave. So it's telling me like move in silence, which is the same energy that I was picking up up there. So maybe that ties into what I'm, what I'm seeing right here, Leo, where some of y'all just need to like move in silence and redirect your energy back to yourself because we got the Knight of Cups. So it's telling me that things will start to pick up. Things will start to flow for you. Things will start to open up for you out of nowhere. So it's all about you moving in silence, Leo. You don't need to explain nothing. You don't need to let these people know you're leaving or anything. Just fall back, Leo. Spirit wants you to pull your energy back. Because the more you pull your energy back from certain people, places, or things, the more things start to, like, pick up for you. Okay, what else, Spirit? Yup, I knew it. Victory. You will start to gain some form of recognition. Some type of reward. You will be rewarded. So some of y'all spirit just want you to go with the flow. Literally. And just, you know, put your redirect your energy back to yourself, Leo. Because there are certain individuals that that could be around you that I don't know, that's for some of y'all. But I feel like a lot of y'all don't have people around you. You know, but I'm just getting this energy of that just don't respect you. Like somebody that you have, it's either that people that you had to walk away from they just don't respect you or you don't respect them but i'm not getting that energy so so scratch that out some of y'all is that but it already happened i just feel like spirit wants you to like say nothing say less and do more in secret that's the energy that i'm picking up on because you will thrive you will thrive some of y'all if something is going to come to your attention where you you know you don't don't give up on something because you will achieve something. Because some of y'all was on the edge of walking away from this job. But I don't know why, but Spirit is saying you need to like put your energy back to yourself. Give yourself, I'm hearing enough room, enough space, a space to breathe. Because some of y'all probably, it could just be clutter. Maybe you could have, maybe you could be unorganized at your job. Maybe you feel like things are all over the place. Or you just felt like your job itself is all over the place. Maybe you feel like there could be some things that, could be messing up for an example maybe you could be having computer issues you know what i'm saying and it's stopping you from like doing your work where you just have to sit all day you know it, it could be something like that some of y'all having um technical difficulties with your um like i said it could, you could be having electrical um maybe it could be electrical problem maybe it could be your wi-fi keep going in and out i don't know there is something that is stopping you that you really don't have control over leah which is causing your work to be a lot more slower. You see what I'm saying? Some of y'all work from home. Maybe your Wi-Fi keep acting up. I don't know. Maybe you having some electrical problems going on in your house. Or maybe you just had like a tornado or a hurricane or something. And maybe you're not able to work because of the let um the power went out. I don't know. But I'm, this is at work, Leo, or at home. That could be causing some form of like blockage a little bit you know where you feel like this is something that you cannot control you see what i'm saying but spirit is saying not taking action and holding back is going to light and, and letting things 
happen. It's going to naturally like come together for you, Leo. I don't know. I'm just picking up on that energy for somebody. Somebody could be having problems with their like Wi-Fi or their computer if they have to have a computer for work. Or like a, a tablet or something or a MacBook. I don't know. Maybe somebody having problems. Maybe you broke it and you looking to replace it. I don't know. But I'm just getting this energy where somebody could be having problems with their like, you know, their work. And some of y'all, it could just be people at work just that just don't respect you enough to give you, you know, to help you, to support you. Maybe you just felt like. You just need a, a helping hand, but you're not getting the support that you need, Leo. Maybe you feel like you're doing everything by yourself, but it's the spirit just saying just fall back. Let the magic unfold, Leo. That's all I keep hearing in the back of my mind, like fall back and just let the magic unfold because there is some things that you don't have control over and just go with the flow. Look, some of y'all are going through a, a big transformation right now. Things are changing. Like I said, there's a lot of changes going on at work. Like I said, that you probably are not prepared for. Um, whether you're cutting hours, back in hours, or whether it's something, like I said, technical difficulties. Maybe the machines are down. Machines are down. If you work with machines, maybe you could be, um, maybe your boss are not giving you work. Maybe you could be an independent contractor. I don't know. But I'm just getting this energy where it could be low on work or just low on, like, pay. Where you at, Leo? And but now it's like you could be staying there until you can have, find another job. And some of y'all, like I said, you don't even have to say nothing. You could just leave. The rest of you guys, you're gonna continue to go until like the pay start to pick up where you at. But there is some form of transformation happening. Look, more obstacles, more challenges. It is something stopping you. And like I said, Leo, a lot of this is out of your control. There's nothing that you can do about it. I I know the situation could be leaving you in like a really like vulnerable state, but it's like a vulnerable state where you feel like you need to rush. You see what I'm saying? Spirit saying fall back because some of y'all do feel like y'all need to rush something, like you missing out on something, or like you need to hurry up and get your your money up. You need to get your sales up, or you need to. I don't know. I'm just getting this rush, but I feel like. Falling back, there will be a rush of change, a big rush of change happening for you, which is going to cause a shakeup. So some of y'all are experiencing like a shakeup and then it'll calm down and then you experience a shakeup and things will calm down. And you know, this is a back and forth shakeup, Leo. It's because some of y'all are undergoing some form of transformation in your life, Leo, where you are meant to like go through these obstacles. We got deception and envy. Yeah, y'all definitely going through some things. Some of y'all have people that is quite like, really like, jealous of you in a way. Competition with you at work. These are people that just don't like you. I surely feel like y'all could be dealing with these type of people at work where y'all could be arguing or fighting people at work because of people not liking you. There is some form of like hitting animosity. Some of y'all, the animosity ain't even hitting. Like it's in plain sight that certain individuals can't, can't stand you. They don't like you. But I feel like in your personal life, you changing your energy because I am seeing that. The energy changes that's within you far as you being at peace and outgrowing the old. I strongly feel like this is causing the shakeup. This is causing the shakeup, Leo, because of you shifting your energy and being a lot more grounded. It's causing the shakeup, Leo. You see what I'm saying? It's causing change. It's because you cut in ties with certain individuals that are very deceptive. Some of y'all are just meant to leave this job. Some of y'all, it's clear as day that y'all are meant to just leave a job, Leo, that you haven't let, let go of yet. Okay, what else do we have for my Leo? Hmm, 
stuff. I knew it. I was picking up on that energy. Liberation. Some of y'all are meant to free yourself from it because you feel like you're working more and getting paid less. Or you just felt like, you know, you you could just be feeling alone where you at, Leo, where you feel like you have like a all this stuff that you need to do, but where is the support? Because some of y'all feel like y'all don't have the support around you, Leo. You feel like you're putting in all this work. Some of y'all feel like a slave to y'all job. I'm not even going to lie. This lady looked like a slave in the field. Like, literally. Somebody feels like a slave to their job where they feel like they're not making enough money. They feel like they're not gaining the support that they need. They feel like they're not gaining the recognition that they need. Spirit is saying if you're feeling alone and you're doing all of this work and you're not getting the results that you are looking for, it's time to let go. For some of you guys, it's time to let go. Yes, y'all have a lot of snakes around you that's trying to destroy what it is that you are trying to build for yourself. Whether this is at work, whether this is the business, whether this is the business partnership, no matter what it is, Leo, I noticed that a lot of you guys are focusing on y'all work and y'all career. I'm not really seeing too much love. But I just feel like the lot the, the most of the struggles lie is your security and your stability more than anything. Whether this is your housing situation or your work or both. But I feel like it's both because it does have some form of effect on the other if one ain't doing right, right? So I just feel like some of y'all, if you feel like a slave to your own job, leave. If you feel like you ain't getting paid enough for all this stuff that you got to do, leave. Because it ain't even worth it. I'm just hearing plantation. Like somebody feels like they had a plantation. They in the plantation and like it's time to go. But it is telling me that things will grow. Things are going to grow eventually. Yes, they may be slow. See all those flowers around this woman? They will grow, but they're slow. But they only slow because you need to walk away. Look, storms. It's going to get worse if you don't leave. But I feel like leaving is going to cause that effect anyway. So it's like whether you leave, whether you leave this job or business or whether you stay in this job or, or business, it's going to have some type of domino effect on, you know, what no matter what you do, because your energy changed. You see what I'm saying? Your energy has transformed. You left anything that kept you small, anything that was once chaotic in your life, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. It's like the more your inner self changed, Leo, on the inner side of yourself, the more you're outside your world changed. So like I said, it doesn't matter where you at. You're going to have some type of domino effect because your energy has changed. Your energy has shifted. You see what I'm saying? So it doesn't matter. So it's like, but you will see some form of result. I promise you, you will. I promise you will. Because I, I'm getting like, things are going to grow. Things are going to grow. Some of y'all have things like literally growing behind you. Like I said from the beginning, some of y'all have some things you have already started. And it's already happening for you. You have already invested some things. And it's growing. Yes, it's slow. But Spirit is saying that some of y'all still in another connection or another job that you could be holding on. That is, you know, very chaotic. And like I said, it's, it's out of your control because it's, it's, it's probably the people around you that don't like you. Throwing negative energy, causing drama, want to argue with you, want to fight with you. The rest of y'all, it can be saying that maybe there's some technical difficulties at another job. Because some of y'all have at least two jobs. You know what I'm saying? You know, and or you can have a job that you, that's, you having these, all these problems that, and then you have like a side hustle or a side business. You know what I'm saying? For an example, maybe you do hair at home, or you have like a daycare or something, or you work at a daycare, and then your other job where you could be like a customer service agent or like a receptionist or something. I don't know. And maybe people could just be giving you a hard time, especially if you're a receptionist. Maybe people could be giving you a hard time. I don't know. But I'm just giving y'all different um. Get yeah, different examples on what it could be, Leo. Because some of y'all are juggling two jobs or two businesses or you have a job and a side hustle or you have a business and another side hustle and then you probably start another side hustle or a business on top of it. I don't know. It could be something like that. But I feel like your energy is leveling you up for real, for real, Leo. I don't look at it as a bad, like, change. I look at this as a good change. Because it's telling me throughout this whole spread, your, your energy is grounded. You never change. You always stay the same, right? And you've been left that past, you know, behind you. But I strongly feel like your, even despite your, the energy that is good within you right now, you're still going through some changes, Leo. So it's because you, you, you have changed. That's all. 
it has nothing to do with really like you know with everything else i just felt like it's your energy that changed and it's like the more your energy changed the more you don't resonate with certain individuals no more you know you see what i'm saying the more you clash with people that you know your spirit don't resonate with anymore leo because you have undergone a lot of change a lot of transformation leo but some of y'all are struggling to break free from a deceptive person or people or a job or a business and it's causing like double chaos it, it, it could get worse though for some of you guys but i feel like you walking through this path you know fearlessly fearlessly it's like you so used to having like all this chaotic stuff thrown at you leo that's the energy that you are in it's like you are going with the flow and i just said that Things are going to start to open up for you. People are going to be looking at you sideways. When things start to open up for you, Leo, like this rush, I keep getting this rush of energy. When things start to open up for you, people are going to be looking at you sideways because they ain't think that you was going to be this calm. You see what I'm saying? It's like you the type of energy, right, or we're going to say person. You the type of person that you have been through so much, right, in the past to the point where even if you go through another storm, it don't phase you. You see what I'm saying? And that's the energy that I'm picking up on. I feel like you are remaining very unbothered, Leo, because you are used to going through stuff like this. You know what I'm saying? You was built for this. It ain't nothing that you cannot handle. That's the energy that I'm picking up on. And like I said, yes, people may be looking at you sideways or whatever because you are so calm and still looking pretty, sitting pretty, going through the storm, but... Like I said, you've been down this rodeo before, but let's keep it moving. Spirit got me wanting to like pick up some more cards because I strongly feel like people could be like looking at you sideways because they know you're struggling, but you in this energy of like not phased by it, especially if you at work, especially if you feel attacked, especially if some of y'all are being spiritually attacked. Some of y'all are being spiritually attacked. Some of y'all are being physically attacked. Maybe people trying to fight you at work. Some of you guys, people trying to argue with you at your job, you know, some of you guys, you just been going through a lot of like, maybe you have been very clumsy at your job. Maybe you always spilling something or dropping something, or maybe you spilled your coffee in front of everybody. I'm just getting this clumsy energy is for some of you guys. If it's not clumsy, clumsiness, it could just be, like I said, other people against you and attacking you. Some of y'all experiencing all this. I'm hearing oh held and broke loose at work, like literally, like some of y'all have experienced all of this, but like I said, if you feel spiritually attacked and physically attacked by certain individuals that surround you, spirit is saying it's time to get up out of there because obviously y'all are not welcome. Spirit is saying that these people make you feel like you are not welcome, but like I said, y'all some, listen, y'all some strong soldiers. They try to make you feel small. But you a strong soldier. You a tall soldier. Like I said, it ain't nothing that you can't handle. And you kind of have people, like I said, looking at you sideways because you have so much. The odds are against you so bad to the point where you acting like it don't phase you. As you should. Keep your energy grounded because you know that things are going to turn around for you. A lot of y'all already know this. And I already spoke up, spoke on this at the beginning where y'all prayers are being answered. You know, people about to F around and find out. You know, you are a lot more powerful than them. You really is. Can't nobody stop what's meant for you. Can't nobody stop what's meant for you, Leo, at all. But I just felt like... The way you carry yourself and handle yourself yourself through adversity is like it kind of like really have people looking at you in a certain way because they looking at you as this confident person that's not caring about what nobody say about them, not caring how other people look at you. Some of y'all could people could be looking at you funny. Maybe you dress differently. Oh, you see this woman, how beautiful she is, but she different. She is different. Like y'all go through the storm. You know, fearlessly, Leo, because you know it's all love. 
you know it's all love, period, you know? And some of y'all have people at work that look down on you, that always want to be in competition with you or, you know, trying to attack you and argue with you. But like I said, this is all love. So some of you guys that have, y'all have people that don't like you, they really like, they, they don't like you, they really do like you for real. They just inspired by you because you're different and they can't understand why you're so different, Leo. It's because they can't understand you. People don't like what they don't understand. They don't. They don't like what they don't understand. But like I said, you have been through so much, Leo, to the point where you can handle anything. But then y'all knew y'all rewards was going to be. Y'all, oh, I just had a strong, I just got a strong feeling that this card was going to come out. But listen. Y'all already knew because y'all faith is a lot stronger. Y'all God is a lot more stronger no matter the opposition, no matter who's against you, no matter what challenges that you may be struggling with that work, right? The clumsiness, the, the downfall on things, you know, whatever it was, right, that kept you small, you felt small. Bang, you are going to be rewarded. You already knew. You kept everything kind of control. You didn't budge. You didn't. You didn't get mad. You didn't pro get like even when people try to provoke you, you didn't give them with a reaction. It's like you. I'm getting a smooth energy, y'all. Like you're unbothered. Look. It says work you want may not be in reach now. You can take a temp position while awaiting an opening. Your new place offers a job security. So there is a promise around the corner, Leo. Cause you have it's like you already have something going on in the tuck that is like happening. You know what I'm saying? That's brewing up and people didn't know this. But just know that your rewards are here. Your rewards are going to start to open up for you. Literally, things that were hitting, things that what you felt stuck in, it's going to start to be released. Like I said, if you felt like you was having a lot of bad days at work because other people or the, or just you being clumsy, dropping stuff, or you having bad su customer service with other people where they're trying to argue with you over the dumbest things, it could be stuff like that. Just picking, people picking with you. It's like, that is, things about to change. That energy is it's about to change. You will be rewarded. Look, and then we got wish come true. Didn't I say a lot of y'all been praying, chanting, meditating, maybe doing magic, rituals? I don't know. But things, that's all about to change, baby girl. Like, literally, it's about to change. Things are going to start to open up for you. So you really don't have anything to worry about. I don't feel like you ever, you listen, you never was worried. You never was bothered. I feel like other people was bothered by you not being unbothered. Like I said, it's because they could not understand you. They couldn't understand you. Because if it was them, they would have been acting crazy, throwing a fit, taking their anger out on everybody else. You was the opposite, Leo. You was the opposite. So we got courage, yes. Because of your bravery, things are unfolding for you, Leo. Things that was once to keep, try to keep you stuck, listen, it ain't no longer stuck no more. It ain't no longer stuck. I'm hearing somebody that opened Pandora's box. Somebody that let the cat out the box. It's, I'm hearing magic. Like, y'all have been doing some magic. When I heard cat in the box, I heard, I seen, like, a magician. So I feel like some of y'all have definitely been manifesting some things behind the scenes, Leo. And nobody ever knew this. Nobody knew what you had cooking up in the background, Leo. They didn't know that you were praying. They didn't know you were meditating. They didn't know you were doing magic. They didn't know you were, you know, had some other things, some businesses that was, you know, cooking up in the background. They didn't know this. But I'm here manifesting. Y'all have manifested something. But I'm hearing a lot of you guys are unlocking your full power, your full potential, Leo. And your silence, oh, it spoke volumes for real. It really did with the spread. Your silence, now they're going to hear you. Now they're going to hear you. And it's crazy because it took you to like, I wouldn't say prove a point, kind of, but not at the same time. It took you to like literally pop out with some shit, right? Excuse my French. I'm so I'm trying so hard not to cuss, but 
it took you to pop out with something to prove to the world or to prove to other people that they didn't stop nothing, Leo. You see what I'm saying? Because now they hear you. Oh, oh, now they hear you, right? They hear you. But I just feel like things are about to literally take off for you, Leo. And a lot of you guys are definitely in a higher higher position. Like I said, some of y'all, I'm just hearing, they didn't let the cat out the box, the magic out the box. Y'all are doing some magic or something. Just know you will have that support and you will have that love. And some of y'all, the same people at work that didn't see your worth, all of a sudden see your worth, Leo. Literally. But I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. I hope it resonates with you guys. And y'all take care.